Good morning guys, Dragon Man here. It's another exciting day at Dragonland and uh, I got a lot of machine work to do here. This job just came in yesterday from Arizona and uh, he really packed it really good. See he made a, uh, a wooden crate around it and it's an uh, Evo motor and if you do send me work you have to make sure you put the note what you want done and instead of uh, you guys making a wooden crate like this which takes a lot of time and makes the box a lot heavier all you have to do is get two plastic milk crates for an Evo motor and uh, you put the lower end in the milk crate and then because of the stud sticking up you get another milk crate and put it right on top and then bailing wire it together and then put cardboard around it so instead of a big heavy box, box like this it could go in a crate like this okay then over here probably his heads and barrels He's doing a rebuild your own motor deal, and uh, he really did a real good, pack, good packing job here. So he's got another note, put a note in each box in case one box gets here first, and look how nice he, uh, he packed everything. So he's got uh, probably uh, the two heads in two boxes, and then the uh, barrels in two separate boxes. This way the fins don't hit each other and uh, break. Okay, so let's see, okay, so he's got his uh, heads in here, see that, he packed everything really good, so this way it'll get here really safe, nothing will get broken, and I'll read his note, this job will stay no more than one week, and goes right back to him, okay, this week gives you guys an idea how to pack everything, okay, so you come over here, yeah, look at all the jobs I got, unbelievable, and uh, I work on this stuff like six and a half days a week. My daughter takes care of the gun store in the front there. I got a couple of range officers take care of the shooting range. And uh, I do motorcycle machine work every day. Okay, so this is another motor from uh, Arizona. In fact, uh, his friend flew him in right here at the Colorado Springs Airport. And he rented a car and spent a couple of days at Dragonland. Meanwhile, I'm getting this home motor done. Uh, today it'll be done. All I have to do is put the covers on the heads, the rocker boxes, adjust the push rods, and uh, it's out of here. Less than one week. Okay, over here, this is a typical rebuild your own motor deal. Look how pretty this comes out. Here, I do the whole lower end. Look how nice. Everything glass beaded with my new glass beading machine, connecting rods, uh, all rebuilt, all new bearings, races. Uh, He's got cast iron lifter blocks, so I had to paint them. For a few dollars more, I could rebuild your rockers. Look how nice that comes out. See that? Resurface them, we shim them, and uh, glass bead the uh, rocker boxes if you want them glass beaded. Okay, over here we put the valves, guide, seals, two angle valve job. He needed a helicoil, so I put the helicoil in for the top motor mount. Uh, over here we bore it out, eight and a half to one compression pistons, Hastings rings, all fitted the next size, perfect fit, one and a half to two thousandths clearance. And then we take this whole lower end, put it in a plastic milk crate, put cardboard around it, we wrap it up in a blanket, uh, this way uh, no uh, cardboard or uh, packing paper will get in there. Yeah, you get a free towel when you receive your motor back. Okay. And then we put the two heads, the two barrels, in four separate little boxes. See, like that, four boxes, and then put them into a bigger box. So it's shipped back to you in two boxes with a top-end gasket set. If there's any questions when you get your motor back, all you have to do is call me up, and I'll be happy to uh, help you, whatever the question is. Okay, follow me around here. Okay, this fellow here, I just rebuilt his uh, flywheel assembly. This guy here wanted uh, his lower end rebuilt, see? His connecting rod seized up. So we give him another set of Holly Davidson connecting rods. I bought out uh, his cylinders, the next size. See, cast uh, pistons, one and a half, two thousandths clearance, and uh, Hastings rings. And this is going to go back to him. Cheap. $750. You can't beat it. Rebuild your own motor. $1,200 parts and labor. You want me to put the home motor together? $1,500. You want me to run the motor? $75 more. I got prices that are 35 years old. Okay, guys, follow me. Let me show you around a little bit. Okay, over here, this is my uh, press. I push it through the, uh, the wristpans, the races out of the connector rods. I got a punch for every Holly Davidson 
a bearing and bushing. This is for the Timken bearing. See that? Let's say I want to take it out. See, it fits right on there. I just heat up the case a little bit. We hit the, the uh, race out, and then we take the new race. We use another uh, punch, put that on there, and uh, hit that right in. Everything is uh, set up like a small factory. Bum, bum, bum. Everything's done. Okay, over here I got a punch room. We got all the valves, the guides, the bushings, the seals, the gaskets. I don't have to go calling up and get parts every day. Here's my valve grinding machine. Everything's cut 30, 45, 60 degree, three angle valve job, 15 minutes. Over here we've uh, honed out the valve guides. You cross hatch your cylinders. Over here, this is my automatic uh, honing machine. I put your cylinder in here. We uh, check how many thousandths we want taken out with a one tenth of a thousandth dial indicator. We push the button, it goes back and forth. See, we lock it, and uh, in three or four minutes, your, your cylinders are bought out every 10 thousandths, about four minutes it takes. Okay, over here for my seven honing machines. Look at this. I got every mandrel from a quarter of an inch, 250 thousandths to five and a half inches. I don't even own a Rima. Everything gets honed out. I rebuild my own Harley Davidson connecting rods. This is a reconditioning machine, and uh, you don't, we don't ever use any Japanese Taiwan uh, connecting rods. It just measures the uh, race. See that? How much is coming out when I'm honing it? This measures the uh, wrist pan bushing. See that? And with a machine like this, everything comes out perfect. Turntable work goes over here. Over here, we uh, hone out the uh, rocker arms when I put new bushings in it. I could run your whole motor right here and adjust everything for you. There's my new glass breeding machine. I still have my old one. I use, uh, I use the old one for the dirty stuff, and the clean stuff goes in a nice new one here. Over here, this is my welding bench. I do all the welding here. I, I have four welding machines. I can weld every kind of metal, steel, uh, cast iron, uh, aluminum, whatever you got. Okay, over here, this is my seat master machine. This is how we put nickel seats in. Uh, this is for dual spot plugs. I got a, a jig for every Harley Davidson head, 1936 to 99. Okay, let's see. Okay, this here's a heavy duty 15 horsepower lathe. Normally, I cut down the cylinders or cut down the flywheels. We shave the flywheels, take about three pounds off. So when you give it the gas, you get faster RPMs, like a stroker motor. Okay, all these machines here, over here we uh, put the cases on here, I could fly cut the motor mounts, bore out the cases for big bore, three and five eighths. Over here we uh, cut out the uh, uh, seats on the uh, shovel heads. Over here, this here, this has a hundred memories. Uh, this machine here, all I have to locate is off of the main race, and it'll show me where all the other holes go. I have all the Harley Davidson blueprints. I could relocate every hole after it's welded up. Okay, over here, relocate the spot plug holes. Right here, weld up the spot plug holes. Drill it out, 9 16 14 millimeter. This machine here cuts out the pan head seats. Uh, these flutes are cut three to four thousand smaller than the, uh, the seat. This way it gives me a three to four thousand interference press fit. Okay? Okay, guys, it goes on and on. I do a lot of work here. If you want to really send me anything, my address is 1200 Dragon Man Drive. Uh, my phone number is 719-683-2200. Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80929. Uh, ship it, FedEx, or UPS. And the main thing is, pack everything really good and put a note in the box. You guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.